All right, priorities. What's her face's original blonde girl and Matt? <gasps> Ooh, maybe we can get them to get together. Yeah, let's have her read the book. Uh, yeah, that seems like. Or, a good or should we check the phone? There, because well, let's whatever. not be too desperate. Oh, but I meant like maybe people uh, were trying to get a hold of us. What's that? What Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Fucking Mike. For hell know, not right? to retaliate. What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Hey, she's kind of awesome. Uh, grab Snowball. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Stop! Come on! Oh! <laughs> yes! Beat Mike's hey, ass. No. Yep. I hate him so much. Let's <laughs> beat the shit out of him with Where snowballs. Are you hiding, little chickens? I hope Matt, like, be like, haha, I'm flirting with you, but I'm gonna kick your oh, ass. Ah. Oh, this is always hey. what happens when you get in, like, a. Run, oh, shit. Oh. oh, I didn't know. I didn't know where I needed to look at. Oh. Do you ever, like, get in a competition <gasps> with your significant Hello. other and then <laughs> them accidentally? Because you're taking it way too seriously? Yes. Hey, Mike. Boom! Shut the ass up! Hey Mike, I secretly hate your guts. I hope you die. Yellow bird. So, you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all of your tricks. Oh, we should do nothing. No, don't hit the bird. Yeah, that just that's just like a dick move. I know, it's a bird. Why would you even do that? Here we go. Whoa! Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Get off of Done. her. I hate you. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. No, it doesn't. Did he just call me me? Ew, he just... Uh, grab grab snowball. snowball, I hate him. Do it. You have to... Ch I, 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 didn't, ah! I was doing it wrong. Ha ha. Ho oh, ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, <laughs> I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. What, you we don't want to stick your lock. dick in the snow? Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Hey. Quote, unquote. Well, I like your style. I think we <laughs> might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I like how she's trying to get on it, and he's like, Whoa, whoa, I just want to make out. Like, whoa, 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 it's really cold out here. I don't know if I can uh, perform in this cold. She's like, you can never perform. You're always making excuses, Mike. Gosh. You're always putting things off until later. Some, some, suddenly oh, every... this guy. Suddenly everything makes sense about Mike. Oh, again. And how are we feeling? Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh boy, like this is going to take a while. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Sweet. Ah, oh, shit. Now we have to choose which one we Uh, which uh, one worries me more? I guess men. Men. Like, not trying to make any guys feel bad. I'm sorry. They only give us two choices. It's really not that, like, mm -hmm. big of a thing. Uh, sorry. I, I don't... I'm sorry. I just want to validate that I don't want to make anyone fe in our audience feel bad. Yeah. What? Oh. Turn the page. Uh, oh, crowds. crowds, for fucking sure. Yeah. 
But there are crowds on the plane, so I mean... That's different, though. Ooh. Uh, hmm. I think... Ooh, you know what, though? Okay, so my fear is that not only drowning, but, um... You know how when you're in, like, a lake or you're in the ocean, you don't know what's underneath your feet? Yeah. Okay, so you want to say... Do you want to say drowning? Yeah, you can say drowning. So I'm trying to imagine what... We're going. What's going to happen because of what we said we were? Oh, we fall of. through the ice into the lake. Oh, and what do you think would happen if we got fear of heights? We'd be, get stuck on the get stuck on a platform somewhere. So which one do you want? Let's, I mean, I would. Pr- I probably fear drowning more. Yeah. I come across heights more. You know what I mean? Well, it's because we, we're from a city. Uh, snakes. Yes. I like snakes, but like rats don't scare me at all. Rats don't scare me, snakes don't scare me, but if we're looking at a rattlesnake, yeah. that's like a rational fear, and rats are like, I don't know. It's a rat. Yeah. I know fine. that some people are very scared of rats, though. Hmm. Actually, I'm more scared of kn- knives than guns. If somebody, like, I would rather be shot than stabbed. Hmm. But I'm also afraid of guns because, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Probably more afraid of guns because of automatic weapons. True. And Stacy lives in an You can't mass kill area. people with a knife. True. So, oh, yeah, like, there's that argument, like, oh, well, if you had a gun, if guns don't pe- kill people. People kill people. I'm like, you have to, like, run up to somebody and stab them if you want to kill them. If you have a gun, you can just do it from, like, your car. Yeah, and you could kill, like, 20 people in the matter of six seconds well, Sta- with one gun. Stacy lives in an area where there have been... A lot of shootings. A lot of shootings lately. Like, a lot. And Forever. We're in Chicago, and the gun murder rate is actually, like, higher than the war. Yeah. So, take that into consideration. So, do you want to say guns? Yeah. And because you don't usually accidentally kill Um, somebody with a knife, you know? Yeah, true, true. You're usually, somebody is trying to kill specifically you. Oh, cockroaches. Really? I'm not, like, scared of them, like, think they're going to kill me, but, like. Tell me about it. They're see, just gross. if snakes scare me, or I fear cockroaches. Do you see the difference in the wording there? That's true. I think cockroaches don't scare me, but I like. Yeah, you don't want to like. Yeah, they're gross. Yeah, like I've held snakes before. And yeah, snakes are like whatever. As long as they're not like poisonous and gonna bite me. No, I no, I I just wanted to know what your fear like. It's like a like don't touch me fear. It's like the. Just like that, they skitter around and they. No, no, I have the same feeling about centipedes and worms. That's. I just thought it would be interesting to talk about our fears, considering we're playing a game that's asking us. This. Yeah, Stacy has goosebumps right now because she's like, okay, we don't need to look at it. Imagining the carapace. He's gonna be like, yes, I've created this. Hmm. Wow. I feel like. Of these two pictures, the scarecrow scared me more, but s- clowns scare me more overall. Yeah. But the, let, let, let's look at these two pictures, because one is the face of the unknown, and the other is the known. Do you see how, like, one is, like, no face, and the other is, like, a face face? Yeah. So, I think the real question is, are you afraid of seeing the monster, or are you afraid of not being able to see the monster? I think that's what the real question we're seeing right now is. I don't know, man. I'm usually more afraid of the unknown, but I'm I'm afraid of clowns. Yeah, I'm not like is, afraid of clowns, but like and, they and really. And this one says the clowns scare me, and the other one says I fear scarecrows. Yeah. So what do you? I would go with clowns. So now we're going to see something fucked up. Thanks, Stacy. I can't wait. <laughs> hmm. Uh. I like gore. I want to see gore. So should we choose gore? I don't know. It's like, because I don't feel like crow- crows don't scare me at all. So it's like. I want to see gore. So should we say gore disgusts me? Yeah, that's fine. I, Man, I, somebody is going to get, like, ripped apart. Yeah. By a clown. Yeah. Cockroaches <gasps> flying out of him. 
Did I startle you? So sorry. No. You You're didn't. You're doing very uh, fine. well. Don't be nervous. I fucking hate it when therapists do that shit. Where they do something just to see Try what your reaction is. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, I wonder if the oh. reason why he did that is because we took so long to answer the question. Yeah. I don't okay. like it when... Mm. Uh, spiders. I respect spiders for their role in nature. Yeah, but... Stacy doesn't like it when I let spiders chill in my house. No. Stacy saw Stacy found spiders in my um in my kitchen. She's like, Mari, there's spiders in your kitchen." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, just let them chill." And she's like, "Okay." I was getting freaked out by the spiders in the Ocarina of Time, and as you are probably aware, they are not scary. Oh, but in Ocarina of Time that scared me too because I when I first played it, I was 9 years old, and yeah. I, they scared me so much I turned my Nintendo off. Yes. Ooh, needle. Mm, okay. Mm. I don't know. They both seem okay. I uh, I would pick gore. Yeah. Okay. He's like, you're taking forever. Uh, clowns, clowns scare me. Zombies or whatever. Yeah. Well, what are zombies gonna do? Eh, I'm walking towards you. Whatever. They'll like, eat you. Yeah, but I mean, like after five minutes. Yeah. I'm really not scared of zombies. Zombies are the are the monster for people who want to feel powerful. In my opinion, mm. dogs are fine. I, I whatever. They're like really going after this gore thing. You see that? They're like, "Are you sure? You're really afraid of it? Are you sure?" <laughs> um, I feel like zombies are the monster for people who have the, who want to have a power fantasy. Unless it's in 28 days later. Well, fast zombies. Like, storm. Gore. Gore, dude. We're gonna see some messed up shit. I am so looking forward to that. Yeah. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Ew, he's doing Spiders, that thing. Clowns. An awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I hate it. I don't know. This guy is weirding me out. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's because of your personal experiences with therapists. No way, man! <laughs> no way! It's totally just based on the character! Don't you guys think this is a little bit- Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just Do they really need hand. to remind us what happened like an hour ago? I think they're trying to remind you exactly how shitty everybody no, was. Shut Remember that time they were total dick? Oh, oh god, fuck. fuck. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that We'll never forget, for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. All right, they're trying way too hard to make this dude look creepy. Mm-hmm. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Uh, more or less, but... It is so good to see you. What's up with him? All 
right, dude. Okay, so whoever this is is definitely being weird as hell. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. I think that depending on our decisions, there can be wildly different people who are the monster. Oh, hey, definitely. Ash. Bye, Chris. Like, the monster itself could be different. The murderer could be different. Hold on a second. AJ, get on Stacy's lap. AJ, come here. So, how are you doing? Good, but... A little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. All right, can we get... When are we going to get to play as Matt again? Because he's, like, literally the only guy I like. All right, so maybe let's uh, explore around and see if we can find any... Oh, I think we're supposed to be looking for a way in. That's why. I know, I'm just trying to explore a little. Yeah. All right! Oh, yes! What is it? What color? Yellow. Oh. oh, fuck! Oh, no! Guidance? <laughs> Guide you. Let's see what, what new event we... Okay, so we got that guy. Uh. Human flesh. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is, uh... Ah. Uh. Great things are gonna happen, man. This sounds awesome. Matt! Been a while. Rough season, huh? Yeah. Something like that. Hey, you okay, man? Some people, you know? You think you know them? Okay. Don't act like... Okay, whatever. Anyway. I'm glad Matt and What's-Her-Face are broken up. They're both terrible people. Well, no. Matt's actually perfect. Matt's fine. <laughs> Matt's, like, the only person I like. And they're gonna kill him. I know it. I know. <laughs> they're, uh, they're like, you're, he's the only likable person, therefore he has to die. He's likable, and he's apparently a, min apparently a minority. He will be the first to die. So. Is he an ash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, cool. How's, uh, how's she doing? She's fine. Why? No reason. Awesome. Good talk. That was fascinating. Great. Alright, let's see if we can find a way into this house without, uh... Well, I need to explore everything first. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, on the way, we'll probably find other things. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Keep an eye out for sparkles. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, oh, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some okay. snow angels, right? What the fuck? No, uh, shut up, dude. Cut it out, dude. <laughs> cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean... You're not gonna bang her. Maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood Stop flowing talking. down there. Yeah. Listen, Fuck dude. You. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. The You've laid all the groundwork. <laughs> You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Ew. It's 
Guys, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No. Do people really talk to each other yes, this way? Yes, yes. Actually, I had guy friends in high school who used to talk like that. But, like, there's such... Uh, like, can you just talk like a human? <laughs> Is this, like... I feel like it's some sort of, like people talk this way because they see it in movies which talk that way because they think people are saying it in real life and it's like this horrible snake that eats itself well, of endless douchebaggery. Well, there's that whole thing where guys feel like this is how they have to be, so then that's what they do. You're right, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but you know how guys are like, yeah, 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 like, that's what we want. We want sex all the time. And other guys are like, I'm not really, but I'm going to just keep going along with it and then overcompensate by saying really douchey shit and then everyone else laughs. Yeah. You know? And half of them aren't even thinking it to begin with. I yeah. don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's, like, weird? And what if she, she might, like, want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You got to buck up, bro. Grow a pair. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Well, I didn't say You I know, the guys who talk like that are usually the ones who get the she least amount of sex, she so... Else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Oh, an axe! Perfect! I'm just gonna turn off my GPS. I'm finally, like, outside, or I might actually use it. Oh, the axe is missing. Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. You know, we're saving him from a world of trouble with that, though, because, um, like, wouldn't you want to know? You'd want to know. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Chris for criticized Sam for being nosy. Oh, wait, hold on. And then Sam, okay. Is it any cool on the phone, Tom? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff and... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually... Dude, this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. It's called... Whatever is it called? Tinder? Isn't that the app that gets you laid? There's Tinder and Grinder. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. The guy pulling's like doing nothing. How do you not know how to get into your own house? Oh no, they're doing this so they can break a window. Yeah, this is his house though. Yeah, the door's locked. Uh, shit. Oh, You're fine. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. There's climbing class? You mean gym? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Ooh! Whoa. Did I do that? Yeah, dude, you did it psychically. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. What? Oh, no. yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. Oh, let's go look at that thing. 
Oh, good. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> a lost totem. So, okay, so what is lost? Brown means lost. The loss of a friend. That means, like, you shat yourself. Yellow is guidance. So. Uh. So we gotta avoid that shit. Uh. These are all things that can Oh, wait, no, that's that girl we don't like, though. Just saying. Oh, Emily? Yeah. That, that was the girl we don't like, so I mean, maybe we should. <laughs> Here. Ex janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Great. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison, so that would be about the right time ago. Great, right. Okay. Good for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a fucking whore. He vowed to get all of you, your fucking husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case, and later claimed that she was upset by Milgram's threats, and she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. I have something. Uh, what if... So they're all teenagers, right? And that guy's been locked Somewhere away around there. for 16 years. What if the main kid who Is invited... Kid? Well, yeah, not only her kid, because she, she, he is her kid, because they own this place. Yeah. But what if he's that guy's son? The messed up guy's son. Oh. Through different means. Through yeah. Hollywood movie tropes. Through ho Hollywood movie tropes. Through implied, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Exploration. I feel like we're so trained on games like that have such a heavy uh, finding things element. I hope we do a good job. I guarantee you someone is already on the case of the you missed the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm glad that there's like a little highlight for the stuff we missed that what the fuck is that? Uh. What is that? I'm trying to get a good angle. I can't. Here we go. Uh, it looks like a woman with her curled, her curled up in the corner. For some reason, it makes me think about a skinwalker. I don't know why. It reminds me of, um, you know the thing that Jefferson says? Yeah. I could, Yeah. Stacy's talking about Life is Strange. Yeah, sorry guys. Oh, huh. that's cool. Is it cool? So we found a clue. The twins. Distinctive locket. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. I'm all for Hannah coming back from the grave. Because we didn't really see Hannah that clearly dying. We kind of did, but not really. I mean, we got a close-up of her face, but... Maybe she survived. It would be awesome if either one of them survived because, I mean, I could totally respect a sibling going after... Huh? Ooh, what? what if they both survived? What was that? What if they both survived and they're the best? Well, you know what? There's probably different ways. There's no way we can predict it. It's basically, like, off our fears, so whatever. Yeah. That, this skull right here is freaking me out because it doesn't look quite right. The eyes are too small. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That's not what skulls look like, right? Mm -hmm. it looks they like have the big orbital sockets. Yeah, that's weirding me. Just it, stop, stop. It's weirding me out. Just. I just okay. Close your eyes. Um. 
So if you look at it, it's actually vaguely human looking. Stacy has her eyes closed because it's really freaking her out. But that skull is actually, it. They they're purposely trying to make it look vaguely human because that's not what a skull looks like. And you know what's hilarious is that I actually love like skulls on my clothing and otherwise, but just like it's like once you get it into your head that, that there's something wrong, that there's something wrong with it, you're just like ah oh, fuck. There's it looks like they look like eyes. It looks they're, like. Shh, you hear that? You hear the voices? Yeah. So there's definitely something wrong with that skull. Like once you once you notice that there's something wrong, you can't unsee it. Wait, wait. Let's both. Oh, get the door. Yeah, but. Okay, Stacy, I'm sorry. We have to un unfreeze oh, it. Oh, no! <sighs> Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. I don't like that noise. The crunkling noise? That... The shadows are freaking me out a little. Are you seeing these shadows move around? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm like, okay, so. Wait, yeah. hold on, I want to listen to them for a second. I'm glad I turned the music down because the music is usually the thing that totally messes you up. We've got so many sounds in the background right now. Yeah, imagine how badly we would be listening to it if the music was on. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. It'd be creepy if we like walked past something and didn't realize something was staring at us the whole time. Oh, why are you? Why do you say things like that? Why? What the fuck is up with their art? God. I don't know, but that noise, whatever it is, is really. God, this is a terrible photo of all of them. <laughs> yeah. What is that noise? It's probably something like wind hitting it or something. A photo of Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily at the high school prom. Okay. It's probably like an open window or a dead body. Who knows? Stacy, just chill out. It's okay. Stacy's freaking out right now. Sorry. Right. Feel free to tease me in the comments about it. I'm just doing, I'm a little. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Can we close it? Nope. No, we just have to listen to it. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look, it's those weird skulls again. We need to go to the bathroom and get deodorant. Ooh. Huh. Here we go. Oh man, we're gonna be hunting around here forever in the dark. Oh, here we go. Here we go. For men! For men! Ah! Ah! Get the fuck! Ah! I scared. I screamed. Ah, uh, perfect. The fuck? Nothing messed up has happened yet. It's just like we're freezing our buns off out here. I'm 
dying. Ah. I died. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. Ah. <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or a something. badger. Oh, it was just a cute little baby wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Wow, apparently everybody else is way less freaked out about that than we were, and we're not even there. <laughs> home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Punch him. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway. Well, she's not right? your property, so Whoa. yeah. Easy there, cowboy. Um, I don't know why. I don't. I don't so, be with Emily. I saw you with M. Like I think I saw you is better than like stay away from her because that's more territorial. Like stay away from her. She's mine. As opposed to like I saw you with her. What the fuck? At least that's how I'm taking it. I know they're kind of like getting pissed. Like hey, you touched my shit. Like how about you just break up with Emily? What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. At the telescope. Okay, you make yourself sound Before? Weird. We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? We haven't played as Mike yet. Makes me suspicious. Hmm. Distressed. Fuck yourself. No, I don't know. I kind of just um, want him to break up with Emily. So what, what do you think is going to make them break up? Distress? Yeah, probably distrust. Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Whenever someone's being People a douchebag. People always say bag. that when they're being a douche. Yep. People only bring up that it's a free country when they're being a douche. And they only say it's free speech whenever they're being an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with this girl. I love you so much, free speech. No, people don't oh say that. Oh my god, that is so gross. Okay, Emily. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? Emily? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Emily. Excuse me? Did you say oh something? Wow. Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, oh my god. It's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Oh, oh my god. I, I'm like not down with this just because it's like, you know that Mike is inciting this because he wants to have two girls fighting over him. I think they're both just being really catty. I don't like using that term because it's like, you can tell that Mike is being like, no, like Emily, I'm leading you on a little because I want to watch you two fight over me or whatever. And I don't know what, chill, which... Uh, Chill out, Emily. Probably. Because you're being like, whatever. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Whoa. Stay out of it, you dumb old Whoa. Thing. Watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Oh, you're right, Stacey. Whatever. I apologize. Yeah. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages What the advantages fuck is wrong with handle? these people? Oh, well, you couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Wow. Uh, Emily, stop. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I feel like Emily's starting it, and then Jess is just like trash. I feel like, well, I feel, so I feel like Emily is starting it and Jess is just one-upping her. You know what I mean? I just They're don't. They're both being shitty, but like, I'm the one, I want to, I want to, I feel like it's not really his place to be like, hey, Jess, like, stop it. Like, cause Emily is his girlfriend and she's the one who's like attacking her. You know what I mean? It's like, you should defend your girlfriend, but at the same, same time, Emily's clearly not in it for Matt, so I want Matt to, like, just get Emily to just leave him. Just shut that shit down. 
Emily stop? Like, why is this our place to tell Emily or Jess what to do? Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore? Oh my god, you two. It, it's right up the trail. Awesome depiction of female characters in this video game. I feel like if Mike oh, that's over. were the bigger man, yeah. he'd be telling Jess to fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I... you? Break up. This girl. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. She, at least she's offering to go with him, okay? That's a little better than being like, go get it! Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. All these characters are shit. And I don't, like, why the fuck was it any of the guys' jobs to break up the fight between the <sighs> women? Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, I don't think it's... Brr. How far is this cabin, anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. So, Roger that. Stacy, point. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with yeah. us? Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> what? No. I like that she thought he was for real. You want to invite him up? Okay, because I mean... <laughs> That's like my reaction. <laughs> if he was like, oh, you want to invite him up? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah? No, oh, no. Oh, that so was that's a joke. Not, oh, you were joking. I didn't mean it either. I was joking, too. Yep. Everybody was shit. joking. This is a joke. It's all a joke, and I knew it was a joke. Ha 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 ha. Ah, my life. Uh, <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Stacy brought up that uh, the guy who I thought was weird actually pro actually just has, like, little eyes that are a little weird, and I felt bad for thinking he was a weirdo when really he just has weird eyes. Well, I think it's a it's a common media thing to depict people like that. Yeah, that's why roles. I felt that's yeah. why I felt so bad because I was falling into stereotypes and like assuming someone was evil just based off the fact that their eyes are just a little different. Yeah. It made me feel like a real asshole. Hey, we're playing as Mike. I wonder what our options as a manipulative asshole are going to be. Yay! Okay, so I like Jess when she's not having, like, horrible fights with Emily. Emily. But well, because she, she could be kind of cute, right? You know? she, yeah, like, she's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. I guess everybody has different aspects to their personality. Hey, Hot Lips. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh boy. L just her. <laughs> just Emily, actually, because, uh, I mean, just Jessica. I don't really like Mike. She's gonna be like, that's a horrible picture. 
Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. Just, just, I didn't want to see Mike's stupid face. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's look for any clues. It is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. 